Hi friends, welcome to the Tech Blog Live YouTube channel. Microsoft, of course makes Windows operating system, used on most computers around the world. But it also makes, a small selection of hardware products, under its Surface sub-brand. These include laptops, tablets, and accessories like keyboards and styluses. The Surface Go is the smallest of these, and since it's called the Surface Go 3, because of the third iteration. The Surface Go 3 is the latest entry in Microsoft's range of tablets. Being a tablet, it has a touchscreen interface, to use your fingers or a compatible stylus pen. The Surface Type cover adds a keyboard and touchpad, to transform the Go 3 into a 2-in-1 laptop. It offers a premium design an upgraded processor, and software with less than the Surface Go 2. The Surface Go 3 is Microsoft's full-size Surface tablet, with the excellent build quality. The Go 3 looks and feels great, with a metal build and a Corning Gorilla Glass 3 screen. It has a 10.5-inch screen and decent ports, but otherwise looks very similar to its predecessors. The 10.5-inch display is bigger than the entry-level iPad from Apple, with its 10.2-inch display. The built-in kickstand, allows you to prop it up on a table, without needing a separate accessory. The Go 3 is useful for students, who need a tiny laptop for their education and assignments. It is made for IT professionals, looking for easy accessibility to a performance-driving laptop. It's an appealing form factor, for watching videos and scrolling through social media. The Go 3 is more expensive than the iPad, but cheaper than the iPad Mini. The Go 3 is also among the first few devices from Microsoft, that will come with Windows 11. Windows 11 has an advantage over the iPad operating system, in that it supports multiple users. And compared to Chrome operating system, it can run many more useful apps. The Windows 11 was designed to be as fluent on a tablet as a laptop, with increased usability for touchscreens. But, in a world full of more affordable Windows laptops and Chromebooks, buying the Surface Go 3 makes sense? Let's take a look, at what you're getting for your money. Microsoft Surface Go 3 Microsoft's tablets might not be as popular as the Apple iPad, but they have a loyal set of customers. The Go 3 aims to expand that customer base, with its hybrid functionality and competitive performance. The Go 3 is a hybrid 2-in-1 device, that works as a tablet and a laptop with a keyboard cover. You can use the Go 3 as your primary machine for all your work-related needs. But there are some limitations and advantages, of using this 2-in-1 device these days. It's better at multitasking, runs Windows, and is way cheaper than the iPad Pro. The Go 3 is a little heavier than an iPad, but not so much so that, you'll get tired of holding it. Design The Surface Go 3 is a 2-in-1 laptop that is wonderfully designed and constructed. The silver magnesium shell of Slim Go 3, feels rock solid and durable. While its 10.5 inch touchscreen, is surrounded by relatively thin bezels. The Go 3 has a larger 10.5 inch display, than the iPad's 10.2 inch panel. It's around 0.32 inches thick, whereas the iPad thickness measures around 0.29 inches. Some of that extra thickness, is most likely to accommodate the integrated kickstand. The back built-in kickstand can be used at different angles, and then tucked away when not in use. This kickstand comes in handy, when using it with a keyboard attached or to watch the video. Similarly, it's suitable for drawing on the screen with a compatible stylus, when laid out completely flat. The Go 3 weighs around 540 grams, making it relatively slim and highly portable. 
Even with the signature type cover attached, you're looking at a total of 780 grams. So Go 3 is much lighter and smaller, than almost all regular clamshell laptops. That distinguishes it from most other 2-in-1 convertible laptops, which typically weigh at least twice as much. The matte gray finish doesn't attract fingerprints, and its metal body feels sturdy. The Surface Go 3 has a few useful ports, a power button, and a volume rocker. Its webcam works excellent, and two stereo speakers flank the display. It's more like a light and portable laptop, when attached to a keyboard and the Surface Pen. But the Go 3 doesn't include, the detachable keyboard and Surface Pen. You need to shell out another $100 for a keyboard, and $100 for a Surface Pen. But purely on the strength of its hardware, the Surface Go 3 is a lovely tablet. You can use the Go 3 while at a desk, or you can easily throw it into a backpack. There's something charming about the Surface Go 3, when you hold it in your hand. Display The Surface Go 3 features, a 3 to 2 aspect ratio and Corning Gorilla Glass 3. It's a 10.5-inch 2-in-1 touch display, that comes with 1920x1280p resolution. The 1920x1280 pixels in a 3 to 2 aspect ratio, is the equivalent of a Full HD resolution. The 10.5-inch Full HD touchscreen display produces, excellent brightness levels. The bezels around the display are thicker than on some tablets, though it's not distracting. The bezel around the display, is thick enough to hold a 1080p webcam. You also get cutouts on either side of the display's bezel, for the front-facing stereo speakers. It retains, an underwhelming 76% of screen-to-body ratio. The Go 3 displayed 99% of the sRGB color gamut, and 77% of the DCI-P3 color gamut. The color reproduction is entirely accurate and contrast levels are also spot on. It's a high resolution display that looks good and detailed, with solid color fidelity. The screen is brighter and offers more accurate colors, than equivalent laptop screens in this price range. The image quality is the surprisingly bright, with a maximum of 420 nits of brightness. The display also looked great in most lighting conditions, including bright indoor and outdoors. The contrast is better than most laptop or tablet screens at this price, resulting in a pleasant video experience. The Go 3's refresh rate is 60Hz, which doesn't make much difference to average users. The color accuracy is high enough for watching the video, and creating essential digital art. Overall, the Go 3's display delivers, everything you'd want from a premium display. Performance Microsoft has significantly improved, the performance of Surface Go 3 compared to its predecessor. You now get the two processor options, the Intel Pentium 6500Y and the Intel Core i3-10100Y. The first of two processor, is well suited for those looking to run specific software on Go 3. The second processor is powerful, and better suited for consumers looking for a smaller Windows 2-in-1. As mentioned above, the second processor packs an Intel Core i3 processor with 1.3 GHz. It is equipped with latest 128GB of SSD storage, and 8GB of RAM. The Intel UHD Graphics 615 is a great performer, for light to moderate tasks. But specs-wise, the Go 3 is not aiming for flagship-level performance. All variants of the Surface Go 3, features Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5. The Surface Go 3 ships with Windows 11 in S mode, in terms of software. There aren't many pre-installed third-party apps, but you get a trial version of Microsoft 365. The base model of Go 3, has an attractive starting price of $400, which is less than its predecessor. 
but it neither comes with the $100 keyboard, which is essential for such a machine. Still, it is Microsoft's cheapest machine, behind the $550 Surface Laptop Go. The Go 3 is aimed at kids and young professionals, who need a versatile device that can match their requirements. It's designed to tackle basic everyday computing tasks, and it works just fine. The specifications are good enough for web browsing, document editing, and basic photo editing. The Go 3 screen is adequate for watching videos, and participating in Zoom calls. It's unsuitable for tasks such as video editing or gaming, unless you're prepared to be extremely patient. The whole idea of the Go 3 is to have a laptop, that works well with the touchscreen and the Surface Pen. Type Cover The type cover is very well engineered, and offers a good typing and clicking experience. The type cover delivers a decent keyboard, and a perfect touchpad. It magnetically clips to the bottom of the tablet, and doubles as a protective cover for the Go 3. There is the option to tilt the type cover, at a more ergonomic angle. The Go 3 efficiently functions as a productivity machine, once you attach the type cover. When the type cover is paired with the Go 3, it's not as heavy as carrying a separate keyboard and touchpad. Due to the compact device, the keys are relatively small, but the typing feel is crisp and precise. The keys are clicky and tactile, offering a good amount of travel considering their size. The keyboard keys are very comfortable for typing on, with even backlighting. It's fine for the likes of web browsing, writing emails, or even completing short bursts of homework. But those who need to write lots of copy, will likely want a normal keyboard instead. This type cover is sold separately by Microsoft, and it's an expensive accessory. Touchpad Below the keyboard, you get a medium-sized touchpad, that feels natural to use. This touchpad is quite good, and offers a smooth scrolling experience. The touchpad is fast, and responsive to touches and swipes. It speedily responds, to all of Windows 11's navigation gestures. When using Go 3 at the desk for extended work sessions, you prefer a Bluetooth mouse. Surface Pen The Go 3 supports the Microsoft Surface Pen, which costs around $100. The Surface Pen offers excellent pressure, and tilt sensitivity. This Surface Pen is useful for, taking notes or making drawing on Go 3. The Stylus Pen, magnetically clips onto the sides of the tablet. Connectivity you get a good selection of ports, on the right side of this device. The headphone jack, USB Type-C port, and a proprietary Surface Connect port are on the right. Meanwhile, a volume button and the power button are on the top. The Surface Go 3 can also be charged, through the Type-C port. The veil on performance is outstanding, and there is still a micro SD card reader. The Go 3 standard wireless connectivity, comprises of Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.0. Battery It has a 28-watt-hour battery, roughly 10% smaller than the iPad 10.2s. The battery life, stands out with 7 hours of usage on a single charge. With light workloads, you could just about get through an entire workday. The bundled adapter, lets you fast charge the Go 3 to about 80% in an hour. Speakers The Surface Go 3 has, front-facing dual 2W stereo speakers. The speakers work well, and the audio output is impressive for a device this size. The speakers get really loud, and the audio coming from them is clear. The Dolby Audio Stereo speakers sound good, for both music and video calls. Webcam 
There's a 5 megapixel front facing camera, with a 1080p resolution, which works excellent. The front facing camera includes IR sensors, for face recognition windows hello logins. The GO 3 has a rear mounted 8 megapixel autofocus camera, that captures decent video. The device has an excellent pair of microphones, which are suitable for video calls. You can use this front-facing webcam, for professional seeming on Zoom or Skype. Pros Cons Conclusion the GO 3 has potential as a mini-tablet, that offers a Windows 11 PC experience. Its key benefit over an Apple device, is that it runs on full Windows 11. This means it's instantly recognizable for most PC users, and programs run in the same way. If you add the type cover, you have a natural laptop alternative, though this does push the price up. But if you are after a compact Windows 2 in 1 device, this is excellent with good build quality. The GO 3 uses a touch screen with a uniform bezel, and it can easily be carried in one hand. The 3 to 2 aspect ratio makes it work well, when holding it in either portrait or landscape mode. It also has a bright display, good speakers, and a high quality webcam. It has better specs with a strong kickstand, and the included keyboard and stylus. There aren't many affordable devices, that can provide the Windows experience, in such a portable package. Microsoft intends the Go 3 to be sold to kids and IT professionals, who need a tiny computer. The Go 3 makes for an excellent note-taking device, thanks to its small size and weight. Its performance is just as good in everyday stuff, and its battery life is much longer. If you don't want to run Photoshop, edit video, play top games, there's a lot to like in the Go 3. If you're looking for a light, portable and effective tablet, the Surface Go 3 delivers. Overall, the Surface Go 3 is always a joy to carry, and often a joy to use. Microsoft Surface Go 3's, Core i3 version's price, starts at $630, approximately 47,000 rupees. Specification Table That's it guys for today, thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy this review, and want to see more videos like this one, please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel, to never miss an upload. In this channel, you will get the detailed and latest laptop reviews. Plus the things to consider, to help you choose the best laptop for you. If you're curious about the current pricing and availability, you can click on the Amazon link in the description. If you use that Amazon link to purchase, we'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. This support keeps this channel alive, and helpful content coming your way. If you've got this laptop, or maybe you're thinking about buying it, let me know in the comment below. You can also find, a more detailed analysis on our website, bestinlinealaptops.com. Bye guys, and see you in the next video.